What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Geek and Geezer Fishing Channel. Today's video, we're gonna be bank fishing in an urban lake down in Southern Arizona, chasing after a species of fish that depending on what area of the country you're in, goes by many different names. Speckled bass, also short named for specks, white perch, calico bass, strawberry bass, Oswego bass, socolay, paper mouths, tuxedos when they have their spawn colors on, slabs, crappie or crappie. We don't know how they got in here, but the crappie fairy dropped off some crappie. We're gonna see if we can't get into them. As always guys, click subscribe, smash that like button and leave us some comments down below. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. We just hit 900 subscribers and we're gonna continue to climb up. Let's get out on the water and see if we can't get into some crappie. I was gonna say, yours looked like it was... Trailing off to the side, right? Yeah. I tried to give it a couple twitches to see if my bobber did something weird. Yeah. That one? Is that or stick? No, I've got something. Crappie. No. Crappie. Oh, did it get off? I don't, still don't know what it is. It was a crappie. Was it for oh, sure? Oh, yeah, it was 100%. 100% crappie. Dude. That's crappie, dude. See, dude, each time we come, I love it because we learn something. I'm going to just switch with you real quick. Okay. Ooh, don't fall in that crack. Dang it, man. That was sick. It was a crappie, 100%. You sure? Yeah, 100%. Hey, hey, no doubt awesome. in my mind. I saw it. Oh, yeah. Dang it. That would have been so sick. Oh, man. We're getting closer. But we're on to something, man. On to well, we something. Were bites earlier. They were just too big bait. Yep, I think you're right. I think you're right. We've known there's crop had for like a couple Yeah, but we've never targeted them. I, for some reason, just feel like it's chartreuse. I don't know if it has anything to do with the black or the white, but I feel like it's the green. Yeah, I mean, all yeah, all of mine were on straight, straight chartreuse. This one just had chartreuse <laughs> and white on it. <coughs> I don't know, maybe the hook is too small on these? Or on mine, mine's a little trout magnet. It's, let me see your hook size compared to mine. It's probably similar, I'm assuming. <laughs> Swing and a miss twice. Yeah, yours might be a little bit bigger. Just wondering why we... Huh? I think your hook size is about right. I'm thinking mine might be... Shit, mine might be too small. Uh, maybe. I don't feel like it's that much different. Yeah, I think just earlier the bait was too big. Right, and that's unfortunate because we got, a, a, feels like a lot more bites earlier. Right. Well, at least we got a little something figured out. But I don't think they're like schooled up or anything because they're just hit or miss. One here, one there. Which is also weird because they're supposed to be very school fish. Right. Mm hmm. You're pretty deep though, aren't you? But you're pushing farther out. Did I get over your loop or am I good? Got one. This might be a crappie. Might be our crappie we're looking for. That's our crappie. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get a picture of Pat Ball at that. Yes, Just sir. Just make sure you're right now. You're out of the footage. Okay? Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, <laughs> this is what we came That's for, what guys. We came to do, guys. Oh my gosh. This is what we came for right here. Get some of these crappies. We finally got one. We will take him. Awesome. That is sick. You guys want this at all? Sure. Hey. Yeah, we'll fix it. Got him. Yeah. I don't have the dang net. Another little crappy. Yeah, geezer. You on? I wasn't. You're not? Nope. I did. Nice. 
That's another little crappie. Boy, it went way down in there. I got my little uh, vices if you need them. Well, this one wasn't coming up buttoned. No, it isn't. There we go. Let's get this guy back. Sweet. All right, yeah, that one. It's like, oh, it's going a little sideways. White and chartreuse. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull that one in. Huh? I think I'm going to pull that one in. I'm like, oh, it's not too windy. Well, that didn't last long. Man, I just reel up some of that slack. Oh, shit. Yeah. You think they're sitting right there where that one was at? It broke off. No. It broke off. Sorry, man. Yeah, I, I got one. Got one? Oh, just nope. side swipe. Nope. I got the one that you had. You got the one that just broke off. That's I, crazy. I got the one that you just snapped off. Look at that. And boom. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is not possible, dudes. That's not possible, dudes. Dude, that's. Oh my goodness. That's unbelievable. I am wrapped around your camera. That's oh okay. my goodness. I seriously, and he had that. Oh my God. <laughs> there's a school right there. Yeah, there's a school of them right there. Bait out of his belly. There you go. Nice. He's pretty little. He's I don't little. Think keep that one. Yeah, I was going to say, mine was pretty small too, but oh, it's, pretty, one, guys. it's pretty sick. Uh, oh. Thank you, Peach. Nice. All right, guys, let's take a minute and kind of go over our setup that we're using today. Got myself a medium action spinning rod. Got 20 pound braid on there with a six pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, you could probably go less, less than that if you wanted to, but I probably wouldn't go any more than that. I got a uh, stand up float. Um, you guys know. If you guys saw uh, our latest trout magnet video, you guys know why I like these floats. Um, and then I got a little split shot right underneath the float. And I'll explain why I like that right there here in a second. And then about two and a half, three feet, we are just fishing with um, panfish magnet jigs. Um, black and chartreuse, white and chartreuse um, seem to be getting us the bites. We were using baits about an inch bigger than this earlier this morning, getting some bites, but not connecting, not catching the fish. So we downsized to this little pan fish magnet jig and uh, we started catching some fish. The reason why I like this weight up here, so close to the bobber, for one, as soon as it this bobber gets in the water, it's standing up. So that helps me see bites better, first thing, as this thing is, and another reason I like this weight up here, because it affects the pendulum, how this bait falls in the water. Because I feel like if it's in here, it has a wonky, has a wonky fall rate and pattern. So with the weight up here near the top, the bait is on a better pendulum as it falls. And when, as soon as this bait hits the water, it's standing up. The bobber's standing up, and I can indicate bites a lot better and a lot faster. I don't miss as many bites um, when I do it that way. So that's what we're kind of using. So uh, we're going to switch spots, um, see if we can't find another little honey hole that's got some crappies, and uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Oh, he got off. One of the things I've noticed, guys, while fishing for crappie and I don't know if this is everywhere or if it's just this lake because it's so much shallower than, you know, a lot of bodies of water. They don't seem to hit the bobber and take it down super quick. They kind of peck it. And I don't know if that's them just sucking in the bait and it pops the bobber and then they stay at the level they're at. They don't grab it and take off. Every once in a while they'll hit it pretty hard and I don't know if that's like a schooling 
you know, thing. If they're in a big school, they get a little more aggressive. But um, I've had a, a couple of the uh, strikes that we've had have been very subtle. Like they just bump it or they grab it and the bobber starts going to the side. It's not even like they take the bobber under. Just something to note. Got one, but I'm stuck on the bushes here. Got one, guys. Got a little one. I was a little stuck on the bushes, but I got him out, so. All right, guys, got me another. Let's show you the cooler. We got ourselves a mess of crappies. Woo wee. Might have found ourselves another little crappie spot. guys that's gonna do it for our crappie fishing or this urban pond I hope you had a good time we had a good time we learned a lot like I said we've never done anything like this on the channel before targeted crappie um, it's always fun to get out learn something new catch the fish that you're targeting we had a blast I hope you guys did too please click that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up hit that notification bell and we will see you guys next time out on the water